all right guys welcome back and um, today's video i want to show us how to couple our rope trouser with key now this method i'm going to use now will also be applicable to both adults and kids the only difference is the measurement right so we are going to um, take our time to go the whole processes of the best way to couple our rope trouser so right here i have my pocket in now for, the, for this particular voice measurement, the pocketing I used is um, 8 inches by 8 inches, right? Now I planted by 1 inch and then 4 inches deep. Now this 4 inches deep is for the pocket notching I give on the outfit itself. So after you must have done that, then you now um, put your facing. So right here you put your facing on top and then you are going to put the facing uh, at the part that is stretched then you sew right then but if you are using the same material of the trouser for the pocket seam no need to put facing anymore right that's the reason of my facing is because i'm using lining of a uh, pocket seam that's another material outside the uh, main fabric to do my uh, pocket, pocket seam that's why i'm putting my facing in there so after you must have sewn your facing this way now the next thing you will do now is to attach the corresponding pocket to the trouser. So right here, we are trying to bring it out, bring out our pocket in, and then this is how this one is. Now, bear in mind that when fixing your pocket in, make sure you don't fix um, the pocket in to be double, like on both sides. Make sure that your pocket in is um, facing each other, like. This one is this way now. This other one will be in opposite direction, right? So this is this one now. If you do it this way now, you are doing double. So this one will face the other way. So you bring your pocket, pocket facing as well, place in this form, and then you sew in this direction. So I think this area I'm doing now is very easy to handle. The area that we pay more attention to is on the coupling of the main fabric of the of the trouser. So I will show you in the fixing of the pocket as well and then when we get to the trouser coupling. Now we are trying to fix our um, um, pocket to the outfit. Now the place we slanted is where you are going to attach this um, gum area. Bear in mind that you must have gum this all these things before you proceed. So make sure that this stuff is lapping half, uh, half an inch inwards. Now this same process of the pocket fixing is still applicable on adults, right? So if you have seen the adult way of fixing pockets, you can as well fix this. There's no much difference. The difference is just the size, right, of the pocketing and the whole measurement. So you fix accordingly to that spot and then you as well sew on the inside area of your triangle or your, or your, or your, or your angle, the place you notch, stitch and then bring it out and then you proceed to the um, joining or to the my machine is looking my thread so, so right here I'm now folding all this way and then you give your stitching right making sure that it's lapping properly on the tip of the fabric right it must lap properly this way then when once it's lapped you now um, um, trim it off the threads, cut it off, then bring the corresponding the the pocket facing you have placed, place it this way. Now make sure that whatever you notched here is what you are replacing. So our notching we had was 1.5 in the cutting processes. So I'm going to replace 1.5 from the line I have sewn to that edge of the pocket facing 1.5. So this is the position of the pocket I have. Then. You just have to sew half an inch down just to hold the pockets and the pocket seam, the main border, the trouser and the pocket seam. Half an inch, just sew a bit at the tip of this point, half an inch, right? Then, when you must have sewn, also a bit, making sure it's holding the pocket and then now close the upside 
this is the same process of eating for both adults and kids. Then you make sure then you raise the main trouser up. Don't forget the main trouser up, notch the pocket seam half inch in. Don't notch more than half inch, half inch in. Then you put your hand in. Bear in mind that this pocket will be too small for your hand, so just use your two, your, your two fingers, put it in, draw it out this way. Making clothes for kids are uh, always tasking, so you just have to be patient enough while making it for them. So right here, when you have your pocket thin tucked out, you sew at the, on the tip of your outfit and lock the pocket. Give me long screwdriver. Sorry, I have to change my plate. It's it, it, it had a crack, that's why it's a hooky. So right here, um, you continue that closing of the pocket in work this way. Then you have it sewn properly. Right? Make sure that the ending is at the point of the marching, right? Then once you have sewn to that point, then you cut it out this way and then you push in the pocket in inwards. Bear in mind that your full hands cannot enter right now, so you have to use your nails or your fingers maybe two of them then you make sure it's balanced and then if you want you can top stitch but since there's no need for him to have a hard material no need to no, no need to top stitch you can just leave it that way and then iron iron down the closing we now have the size finished properly so this is for the one pocket so i will also repeat the same process in the other pocket and then show you the next stage what was that? I want to, um, I have finished fixing the pockets, the front and back, so I'm fixing the front this way. Now, bear in mind that, like I, I, I said, this method is still the same method you use in fixing of the adults' loop trouser, so you can still use the same method then. You close here, and half an inch, half an inch, you switch half an inch from here, half an inch right so make sure your, your stitching is nice and then it must be tight enough then after you must have sewn that point sorry you have it in this form and then the next thing you're gonna do now is the back aspect of the trouser so the best the easiest way for all kids just fold the back into two this way and put your dart. So fold into two and then the dart length or depth can be two and a half, two inches, but I'm using two and a half for his dart. So make sure you are using two and a half inches for his dart, two and a half. Then and make sure that your darting is on a very sharp slanted line. Don't sew it in a U form or in a curvy form. It should be flat this way after you must have sewn. Then um, the next thing you can sew out to fold this one into two again, the back, the other side, and then you as well give it your darting, right? Now, the width of the dart will be your machine footer or half inch away from the folded edge. So right here, you make sure you have your dart placed in as much as the rope trouser. You still have to put your dart. So you now have it sewn this way. And then after you must have done it this way now, the next you're gonna do now is to join the front with the back. Then how then do you do it? Place it down this way, right? Place it down this way, and then take the corresponding parts, right? And then place on top this way, 
and then half an inch as well you lock it down so this is how you are going to close your darts from your um, your side sorry not that sorry this is how you want to join the sides of your outfit then you connect then make sure that the sewing um, comes across the tip of the pocket edge you have then bend your pocketing inside then in making a rope trouser for kids no need to put lining right no need for that the only thing you can do is to make sure you use a good fabric if you're the one that is procuring the material make sure you make use of a good fabric to connect to make your line and then you have to be very um, um, mindful of your stitching and your clothing right so this is for the joining right so you have actually sewn the side this is how it should look like then you as well replicate the same process at the other place so now the next after this now will be to connect or to join our band which i will also show you so let me reel and show you how to do that all right guys so i have virtually joined or um, um, connected the sides so this is how it will look like right so the next thing we are going to do now is to join the band and then in joining the band uh, it's either you join outrightly from one edge to the other edge right this one will be enough so you join from this way to this way and then it's either you make you create a button hole here or you cut the band off then join it and then stitch here in a way that the rope can come out from this point so because of the band i have so I will do it in a direct form. So this in a direct form. Yeah, I will just so direct and then make space here or provision here for my roof to come out. So why so I will show you how to do that. Here, yeah, like you said, like I said, now um, this is the band we have. Now this band measurements or dimension, we have a band of um, width of um, three inches, right? Three inches. Fold quarter inch this way and then fold one inch again, right? Now you have um, one inch band folding and then the excesses you fold down again. So you're going to attach it from the quarter inch you folded down to the bottom outfit. Then you sew from that point. Make sure you open the side joinings, flatten it. Don't allow them to come one side, flatten it. Now sew on that line, sew on that line. And then you have it this way, right? Then approaching on the um, center fold, that's the place you you, you have um, your your center joining. So and stop half inch before that point. Then jump. The jumping on the gap will be for your rope to come out right then you have several ways of doing this this is one of the simplest ways you can do this so you jump and then stitch make sure you stitch the beginning and the closing right make sure you stitch and then you continue your joining then as well uh, don't forget to open your side opening there then you sew and then come out from the finish from the side from the bar then after you must have gotten to this point now the next thing you're gonna do now is to close the waist area or and the band together so trim off the excess band left here right so the opening here will be for your rope to come out it's just small but you want to make sure you, have, you leave an opening there so right here um, you fold the band this way and then you make sure you close with one inch right remember that in the allowance we added we use one and a half so you close it together this way jointed this way jointed this way you have it um, to be closed at one inch you 
reason for this is so that you have the word in case he, he asks for um, more allowance later on you can easily lose it from there don't trim off the excesses whenever you're making these clothes leave it there for there that will save you a lot of stress later on then you can as well double thread the back region if you so wish then after you must have done that now you are not going to close the band that you fold it down fold it down and then it's better sewn from the outside but make sure that the band is, is catching the sewing must catch the one on the right then make sure you open it up this way flatten it this way then it's advisable that you start the closing from the um what's it called from the center back from the center back then if you notice this this stuff here might cause a problem for you when you are putting your rope your rope might might hook there so it's advisable that at this point now for you to um, avoid stress hold it down sew it down here now this sewing is going to help you hold it down so that you will not have issues while kissing your rope then when you have sewn it down then you as well replicate the same thing at the other side sew it down as well sew it down as well sew it down as well then you have it held down so don't cut it off just sew it so that it is help you to um, make amends if you want to back around then bring on the trouser this way and then the next thing you will do now is to lock the outfit so you lock the outfit from this point Start from the back, start folding. So sew on top of the band. Make sure the uh, the, the one beneath is holding, right? So right here. So on top. Make it a gradual. Stop. This is a gradual stop. Make it a gradual stop. Then make sure it's holding very well. While sewing, make sure you check your sewing to be sure that your sewing is nice. If you have issues with your sewing now, it's better for that you can fix it now than seeing it after the whole sewing process. So, when you have gotten to this part now, you can see that you're done in locking your band. And then, the next thing you will do now is to pass your rope, right? Let me do that pass your rope. I forgot to leave the gap in the front so I will just loosen there and there so that my rope can pass from there so you have it done this way so you have fixed the band so I forgot to leave this gap here so I will just loosen it up later on and then pass my rope or better still you can have a button hole here but don't do button hole now that the band is closed you can just have a small cut in here and then use hand, your hand to stack the opening there then you are now going to lock the trouser with the measurement you have that the locking will just be pinning the outfit in this form right pinning this form making sure that it's lapping the center crouch and center crouch are lapping right then you pin apply the measurements and lock i'll also show you how to do this pin. now making sure that your um flat your center join is Italian, right? So the laps is, um, I have here 13 laps, that's 6.5 by 2 
6.5 that's in the max 6.5 now the mean is 10 by 2 that's 5 right so you mark 5 mean is 10 by 2 is 5 you mark 5 then the anchor is um, 9 and a half 9.5 make sure you bring out the edge here you mark your anchor 9.5 right 9.5 that's 4 is 5 half is 9 0.5 is 2 5 you mark it here so you connect from this point you connect then as well you can get this inside on the other area and then i'll show you how to do that so right here we are done marking the closings make sure you apply your exact measurement now and then in closing this area make sure that your hands or your hand must be straight enough for you to have a nice finish in here right don't be straight then you connect accordingly you connect accordingly to this one and then make sure you you sew in a very nice line then connect as well to the other area and then round it up here so the next thing now is to fold the length and then pass your rope with the help of your safety pin right then this is how to make your rope trouser and then I will loosen that place like I told you and then bring out the rope pass the rope there so we are done with the rope trouser and then we are going to iron so that you have a nice realization and then pass your rope here open here pass your rope and then bring it out tight so that's the end of the video and then the length you apply your length and fold in accordance to the person's trouser length so thank you for watching and don't forget this is Mr. Redifant